Your Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Your Excellency Dr. Philip Isdor Mpango, Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Your Excellency Dr. Hussein Ali Mwini, President of the Revolutionary Government of Zanzibar. Uh, Honorable Kasim Majaliwa Majaliwa, the Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania. The, the first Vice President of Zanzibar, the second Vice President of Zanzibar. Honorable Ministers from the United Republic of Tanzania and the Revolutionary Government of Zanzibar. Regional Commissioner, Permanent Secretaries and Principal Secretaries the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, and uh, Balozi present today. The Commissar for the 2022 Population and Housing Census and the Commissar from Zanzibar. Chairpersons of the boards as well as heads of statistics offices, UNFPA representative, religious leaders, representatives of the media, distinguished guests, Mabibi Nawabwana, Good morning. Abariza Subuhi. Salam Alaikum. I feel privileged to have been given the opportunity to convey to you today on behalf of the United Nations in Tanzania at this very distinguished event, launching of the logo of the 2022 Population and Housing Census. It is also a great honor to meet you, Your Excellency the President, and also the other high dignitaries of the country present today. I must begin by commending and recognizing the commitment of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania, having supported population and housing censuses over the years. These censuses have generated data that is of high quality, data that's been analyzed, disseminated, and used to better serve the people of Tanzania, allowing the country to harness strong economic growth and inclusive and sustainable development. A census is a large and challenging exercise, but its importance cannot be overstated. More than just a head count of how many people live in Tanzania by age, geographic region, or sex. It provides also detailed demographic, social, economic data on how people live, which is indispensable for informing, decision-making, and resource allocation. Census is also instrumental for understanding development challenges and guiding decisions on appropriate action to drive transformation. Accurate and up-to-date data generated from census is also the cornerstone of tracking the progress towards national, regional, and global development commitments, including Vision 2025 for Tanzania mainland and 2050 for Zanzibar, Agenda 2063 for Africa, and 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda globally. Also, the 1998 Program of Action of the International Conference on Population and Development. And all of them have a strong sentiment of leaving no one behind. Census is a unique source of information to map the needs of the most vulnerable and marginalized groups, persons with disabilities, older people, women and girls, adolescents. It helps better understand disparities across the country, where and how to invest in everything, schools, healthcare, road network, etc. Since its inception, the United Nations, through specialized agencies, have been providing support to strengthen national capacities to ensure data collection processes through major exercises such as population censuses that they are of high quality and that uphold international standards and principles. That they produce data that's widely disseminated and utilized for development. We are proud of our contribution over the years in Tanzania uh, and our support which has made Tanzania to become one of the strongest national statistics offices in the whole of Africa. Our lead agency for census, UNFPA, has been coordinating UN family and development partners support to the government for over 40 years, including technical financial support in, in previous censuses, including the last one in 2012. Through UNFPA, we continue to support the National Bureau of Statistics and the Office of the Chief uh, Government Statistician 
to prepare for and implement the 2022 census as part of the broader 2020 World Population and Housing Census Program. The government of the United Republic of Tanzania is taking bold steps to ensure that everyone is counted in 2022 census using geographical information systems, known as GIS technologies, to, demar to demarcate the country and enumeration areas for the first time and adopting a combination of traditional and digital data methods to ensure that data collection is faster, more efficient, more effective and cost effective. The use of new digital software and equipment, however, has required preparation for the National Statistics Offices and the need to improve skills of certain census staff. So we have supported these processes through facilitating South-South cooperation, leveraging the knowledge, expertise and best practices of countries that have successfully used and combined these data collection systems methods with GIS and these preparation steps under strong stewardship of the government will contribute to a successful census and optimize the accuracy of the census count. In closing, I would like to reiterate that the United Nations family in Tanzania commands the commitment of the NBS and the Office of Chief Government Statistician and the whole government of the United Republic of Tanzania and that of Zanzibar in undertaking these huge exercises, without a doubt, it will reap dividends. As we, and UNFPA in particular, have demonstrated, we hope, international development partners stand ready to continue to support in the lead up to the census enumeration and beyond. And we will continue to work with the statistics offices in mobilizing additional partners and support for this very important exercise, the census 2022 census. Thank you. Awesome, Tanya-san.